A once forgotten Detroit neighborhood now undergoing a major transformation. That tops our news at 5:30. Thanks to anti-blight efforts between the city and the residents, an old Detroit neighborhood is seeing some encouraging results in a short amount of time. We are talking about the Delray neighborhood, uh, an area too long neglected and too often a dumping ground for others. Guy Gordon shows us how neighbors fought to get dozens of blighted homes demolished. When the city had to sell off acreage from Del Rey for the new bridge, local residents and Councilwoman Raquel Castaneda Lopez wanted to make sure some of those proceeds stayed here. $750,000 did, and this new revitalized neighborhood is what they got in return. Six months ago, Selena Carrion, her husband, and seven kids lived in fear in spite of this six foot high security fence around their home. Dark, dangerous, unsafe, dirty. For anyone who doesn't know the neighborhood, there's no hope here. It was it's left abandoned, empty, no one here anymore, everybody leaving. Delray residents partnered to give the city targets for demolition and 40 blighted buildings were removed, along with tons of brush and debris. The massive trash piles once on these lots, just a child's foot race away from the soccer field, are now gone. Now when Selena looks out her window, she sees a neighborhood with promise. My kids love it. They feel safe now. They're a lot safer now because of these houses being taken down. Her son is rehabbing this home with new windows. There are new hoops on the neighborhood court. A nephew was going to let this house go but is now remodeling. And Selena's husband is mowing all the lots on the block. In six to eight months, there will be more land acquisitions for the bridge and more opportunities to leverage reinvestment. So we hope to set up a community um, investment fund to help mitigate both short-term and long-term imp impacts on the residents and the neighborhood to really continue to beautify and make it a, a wonderful welcoming place for all of our visitors that come over on the bridge. And is there room for more work? Absolutely. This has been a long neglected area. You really got to do it block by block. But Selena's block is changing, changing enough that she's thinking about changing that big fence in some front of her property, maybe from being less security and more decorative. She's got other plans for her lot, too. And she says others are inspired to take better care of their lots. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Uh, Karen and Devin, back to you. That really would be a nice change for her and her family. What about the larger anti-blight effort? Guy, are there any prospects for expanding that? Yeah, we're kind of waiting right now. $180 million was sent from the feds to the state just a couple of weeks ago. That is a lot of money. We haven't learned what Detroit's share will be of that yet. Right now, the Duggan administration, a minimum 5,000 homes knocked down this year, minimum 6,000 next. Those numbers could go up considerably once the city gets its share of that new federal money. All right, Guy Gordon reporting live for us tonight. Thanks, Guy.